kill two and leave many injured in clash with Okada riders in Lagos. Policemen have allegedly shot two persons dead while two others were injured on Saturday during a clash between commercial motorcyclists known as Okada riders and policemen at the Otumba Itire area of Lagos. According to reports, some policemen from the Itire division seized motorcycles from two riders who were Hausa around 8 a.m. and took the bikes to their station. The owners of the motorcycles were said to have have reported the incident to their members who followed them to the police station on motorcycles to protest the seizure. The police fired tear, ga tear gas canisters to disperse the protesters who in turn reportedly hurled, hurled stones and planks at the cops. A source who reached out to Sahara reporter said the incident occurred close to her house. She said the clash left two persons dead and two others in critical conditions. She said a fight ensued between policemen and bike men. I think the bike men were trying to attack the police officers, so the policemen started shooting into the air, but when the bike men started throwing stones and planks, they started bringing up machetes. The policemen had to start shouting at them directly. I think they shot four, two died, and some are injured. Wow. I think uh, we, in a country where... <laughs> in a Honestly, are we surprised? No. If people... if the NSAS protests happen. I mean, if the NSAS, the massacre, if it actually happened, at this point, this is literally basic. Because how can you be a public officer and you do not know how to de-escalate a situation? That is your job. Because whether you like it or not, you're going to be in... What, in fact, what is the training even like? Because how can you go into the, into, into the public and act like this? You, the onus is on you to de-escalate the situation, whether... Whether, whether whoever was right or wrong in this situation like how can you be a public officer you're meant to instill peace but yet you cannot de-escalate simple situations like at this point you cannot say that they got ordered from a no like how obviously the people are angry and you cannot see that you've done something people don't just riot out of nothing of course i just are frustrated that's a whole other topic on another day but People don't just start rioting for, for for no reason. And then obviously you shooting at them, they they retaliated. You can't push them and you expect them not to react. What do you think who do you think they are? They're not zombies. Wow, somebody says people should be mindful of the way they talk. So the police is no longer a security personnel. What if their colours were the one as fault? So what? And so what? You can't just kill them. I don't understand. Like you're meant to just collect the situation. And the fact is they in, they instigated it because they started shooting at them. So I don't understand. You can leave the people to shout and verbally cuss whatever. That's fine. They they have a right to do that. But for you to shoot at them, what do you mean they're no, as a the onus is on you to be the bigger person because you're meant to protect them even though you don't feel protected. Well, that's the harsh reality of what your job is. Period. Somebody says, um, God bless Nigeria, the only country where the police is doing the work of bandits. The army occupying the space of terrorists. Civil defense is defending their own space as kidnappers. <laughs> While immigration is holding tight like agbaros without touching, interfering with the way the Air Force and the Navy work like Yandaba and drug barons respectively. Is God not wonderful? <laughs> Somebody says, I feel Nigerian police should now be deployed to Sambisa Forest. Let them go there and showcase their strength. Exactly. Egg, like... Because these kind of people should not be with the public. You should not be controlling how the public moves. No, you shouldn't be doing that because you're you're clearly incapable of de-escalating situations. And it's just like that is your job. That is, whether they were right or wrong, you have to protect them. You your job is to protect them. Your life is on the line. You chose the job. I don't understand. Hmm. Someone says, what has caused the fracas? Because police have lost their dignity, people show no respect for their cowardice and extortion. Some of these police walk off duty, some operate without uniform, you can't even differentiate them from robbers. What is this? I mean, obviously, the the bribery that already goes on is literally like a basic... In fact, it's part of the economy. It keeps the economy growing with the, with the way they bribe you know, people in Nigeria. And it, it, so it's like with the businesses that they can actually do on the side while they're with the brand of them being the Nigerian police, what do they gain by killing people? I, but, but then you'd ask, but then if, the, if they're literally capable of going to kill protesters, 
protesters that were fighting for their rights not to be killed and then they got killed for prote- do you know how dysfunctional that is as i've said before i think nigerians we all need therapy we all need psychological evaluation you think you're normal but you're actually not because you're in a country where you're being abused you need to realize that you the 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 the, the, the leader, leaders are gaslighting the citizens it's a very toxic nation of course we know that but it's like it's a different thing when people that are leading you are intentionally being wicked to make sure that you do not grow. People literally escape. People go through weird, strange, life-testing measures to just leave the country. That says a lot. That really does say a lot. And honestly, at this point, all of us, we, we all need psychological evaluation because it's not even a place of, it's not coming from a place of insult, but a place of care because we cannot be transferring aggression to the next generation because we have just decided to sit down and let these people abuse us because that's what they're doing. They gaslight us. They tell us what is not, even though we give substantial proof to be like, this is what happened. And you guys, and we, we have proven that you people are strategic in making sure that we don't get the truth. And we've proven that to you. And yet you're still lying. People are suffering every day. You had COVID-19 palliatives and you didn't give it to them. The whole system is messed up. So then when we have little stories like this, of course, we're desensitized to it because we're like, what's new? But then that should not be normal. We should never find these things normal. We can't live in a country where it's just the news and we move on. That's that's strange. So somebody says, "Um, Sahara reporters, you should not caption this police attacks motorcycle riders not clash true because you, you call this a clash trained policemen with guns and unarmed civilians exactly it should be called an attack and not a clash exactly because when you when you use the word clash you're you're assuming that the two parties in some sort of way have the same level of power so it's a clash where you actually don't know who wins but then at this point the bigger the bigger person the bigger the bigger party here is the police people who are armed because they started shooting at unarmed civilians, they don't have arms. What do they do? They start throwing stones to defend themselves. Do you know how messed up that is? They're throwing stones and planks to defend themselves from this absolute. Ugh. Someone says we're all we are all fathers and mothers in which they pray on a daily basis for us to return back home safe. Hmm. Before you judge any security personnel, know them. Okay, I'm not going to dignify this with a response. Someone says, um, I saw the video. It was horrible. The bullets pierced through one of, Oka- one of the Okada riders' mouth. Oh my gosh. And hit another who is presumed dead. It's really horrible. That's it. Like, we're all messed up. Even the, we all need psychological evaluation. Because the same people that are meant to protect us, they still lived in the jungle that we're all living in. They were raised there. So how do you think they would react to such situations? We're literally the same. We have the same mentalities. We're all messed up in the head. And that is the truth. (laughs) Put what you think about this in the comment section below. And do not forget to like and subscribe.